What's going on? Bill DeWeese from voiceoverrevolution.com. I hope you are doing well. Want to share a few words, weekly words of voiceover wisdom with you today. And uh, this comes to you by way of me working a lot one-on-one with students. And this is something that this seems to be uh, a continuing theme, and I hope you find it helpful. And here are the words of wisdom. Do not upstage the project. Do not upstage the project. It is um, uh, the temptation, I think especially people who come from a performance background, radio, TV, theater, singing, public speaking, even, you know, I think you know, salespeople, marketers, um, when we, when we see a script, uh, you know, our immediate response is to, to perform that script. And performance is a very broad term. But when I, when I, and within this context, I mean, we want, it's almost like we're the show. And the reality is oftentimes we are not the show. It depends on the project. It depends on the context. And this is just as applicable to commercials as it is to narration and documentaries, and especially with documentaries um, and a lot of other types of projects. Uh, those of us who come from a broadcast background, specifically radio, we're used to being out front center. That's, that's the paradigm, the context of radio, is that uh, there are not visuals. And so our voice tends to be front and center for everything. But when we uh, narrate projects, again, be they uh, TV commercials or, uh, or videos, um, where there's a visual component, um, our job is to help facilitate the story and not to jump in front of the story and grab the microphone and take over the show. And so a visual that I I give to my students is this. Imagine that instead of standing center stage behind the microphone and you are the show, imagine that the that there the people are there to see something behind you on a screen. It's a it's it's a video showing a story. Your job is to stand off to the side of the stage behind the curtain watching the video, watching the story along with the audience and helping to explain and facilitate the story. Don't be up front. And don't upstage the project, but facilitate the story. Okay, sounds good, right? Let let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is just a project I was working on this morning for Goodwill. And this is a, uh, it's a uh, a narration for a video. So this is, you know, it is video, which means I have to be very careful not to upstage the project. I'm not the show. I'm just there to facilitate the story. I need to understand um, what the story is. I need to understand, uh, you know, the emotion, the attitude, you know, that kind of thing. So as a broadcaster, you know, it, using my, my, old, uh, my old work paradigm, what I might want to do is jump in and say a line like this. Sonia and her friends are not only making our community a better place through their hard work, they're also changing perceptions of what people with developmental disabilities can accomplish when given the opportunity. Okay. There, I just jumped in front of the story, in front of the project, and upstaged it and killed it. So, a more nuanced approach where I'm not upstaging the project, but rather standing off to the side of the stage and uh, uh, figuratively standing behind the curtain and watching the story and facilitating the story might go a little more like this. Sonia and her friends are not only making our community a better place through their hard work, They're also changing perceptions of what people with developmental disabilities can accomplish when given the opportunity. So what I'm trying to do there is simply to match the mood of the piece and allow people to be absorbed in the visual and in the music and in the feeling of what's happening. And again, just to facilitate, but not to kill it because it's so easy to jump in front and just smash and kill the effectiveness of the project. So my words of wisdom again, do not upstage the project. And that will go a long way in helping you to win more auditions. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you'll share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. And we'll talk to you again soon.